Hey everybody, welcome back to another edition of Ed's Attention to Detail. So today, um, stash ads. Yeah. So got a bunch of uh, models to add into my stash. Uh, no telling when I'm going to get around to building any of these, but um, wanted to share them with you, show you what I got. And uh, who knows, you might be as excited about them as I am. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Um, the first two that I'm going to show you are uh, models that I picked up down at the Big Peach Byron Antique Mall. I did a video on that. Um, I'll try to put the thumbnail up here so you can go find that video if you want. But so y'all might remember seeing this inside that video. Um, this is a Johan AM6M0 or a Rufi. Um, looks like a fairly simple kit, but it is all there. I've actually uh, verified all the parts are there off of the instructions. It's a 172nd scale, which is a little bit smaller than what I normally build. And I certainly have never built any foreign uh, aircraft. But um, I couldn't beat the price. It was five bucks. So I went ahead and picked it up. Um, actually thought it was kind of rare. It's an older kit. Um, so yeah, this will be an interesting build, but got that one. So let's see. Eh, find a place to put them. Now the other thing I picked up down at the antique mall, for those of you that have watched the video, you'll remember this kit. And this is a number 75 factory shops or factory stores Thunderbird. It was driven by Todd Bodine. Uh, this is a, a kit from back in the, dang, where'd all these flies come from? It's a little bit of an older kit too, and it's been open before. Um, but they was asking $8 for it. So I'm like, okay, so eight bucks. So when I open the box, uh, somebody started painting it black with a red interior. I think they were going for possibly a Texaco Haviland uh, Ford Thunderbird paint scheme. I'm not going to do that. I'm actually going to try and build this one as a Mark Martin car. And the reason why I say that is because this kit has no decals. Um, and the only other thing that's missing, I've already inventoried it by the, uh, from the instructions, the only other thing that's missing from this kit is the drive shaft and I think I can make a drive shaft pretty easy at least uh, a convincing drive shaft so eight bucks not a bad deal couldn't pass it up now the rest of what I'm gonna show you um, I picked these models up when I went to Conway Arkansas they had a uh, scale model train and car show uh, this was probably about a month ago now um, but I actually met uh, well, it was pre-arranged, but um, Sean Wilkins, the uh, scale model car guy, he was there, him and his wife, Marilyn, and uh, so we spent the day with them hanging out, and uh, we, we did the car show thing, um, the model car show thing. I, I didn't enter. He entered a couple in there, but uh, we, we went to some of the vendors that were there, and for a scale um, model train show, there was some pretty good stuff. So let's start right here with this. Um, pick this up now never mind what the price tag says this was actually a silent auction kit um, and nobody else bid on it believe it or not but uh, so I picked this up this is a MPG uh, does deserter deserter I don't know um, but it's a uh, GMC full-size pickup truck fleet bed or fleet side bed and uh, if you remember, I did a model truck for Ernie and uh, I really like the way it turned out. And I've got some ideas, a couple of parts on this I might use to jazz that one up a little bit further, but I got some ideas for this one. Um, hopefully they're gonna uh, turn out really well, but uh, for a silent auction bid, um, I was the only bidder. And uh, so I got that kit and pretty pleased with that. Now. A little bit off the wall. Uh, this is Revell 
Alter Nomad Caprice. Uh, basically, it's a Caprice station wagon with a uh, Chevy Nomad rear clip on it. Um, and if you can see the pictures right there on the box, this is going to be a really neat kit to build, I believe. Um, there's a lot of things that I can do with it, do a lot of creative things with it because it's not a standard, um, a standard car or a standard car kit, if you will. So yeah, there's, there's quite a few things that I can do with this and uh, I believe that this is really going to be a fun build. And that's the reason why I picked this one up um, because it, it's just, it's off the wall. It, it's out of the ordinary. So I did pay full price for this one, but uh, I also met Randy, who is a member of Riff Raff uh, Scale Model Car Club. And uh, that's a club that I'm a member in. I hadn't met Randy until then. We happened to bump into him and I was wearing a shirt that said Riff Raff. And he's like, hey, uh, Ed. So anyway, it was cool that uh, he was one of the vendors and I picked that up. And uh, so anyway, all right, moving on. Next up, T38A Talon. Um, now this is a, uh, let me see, what is this? Wolfpack is the kit. And I did open it up and kind of look inside of it. And it seems like it's gonna be a really cool kit to build. Um, they have a great instruction sheet. I mean, look at the colors on that. This this is just awesome. Um, decal sheet, instruction sheet. Like I said, um, fairly simple looking kit, still sealed up in the bag. And it's got uh, the decals for the NASA T38. Um, now, the reason why I picked this kit up is because Early on in my Navy career, um, I was a plane captain in VA-46 down at Cecil Field, Florida, and uh, they were flying a T-38 in from the Navy Test Pilot School up in Patux River, Maryland. And uh, they kept saying, does anybody know what a T-38 looks like? I was like, yeah, I do. So I ended up being the plane captain that uh, Caught the airplane when it come in, taxied it up to the line, shut it down, chalked it, tied it down, you know, did turn around and all that good stuff. But um, so I had a little bit of experience on a Navy T-38 from the Navy Test Pilot School. And uh, that's my plan is to build this to replicate that aircraft. Um, now I've got some photos of it somewhere in a photo album and I'm going to have to find them um, so that I can do the paint job. But it was a really pretty... Uh, red, white, and blue paint job on that airplane, and that's what I want to um, redo. So, and uh, also, let me see. This thing had a price on it. Uh, oh, it was up here in the front. It said $22. I didn't give $22 for it. So I got a really good deal on that kit. All right. Next up, this is a Testers OV-10A Bronco. Um, I've always really liked the Bronco uh, just I mean the way it looks check check it out I mean look look at just the way it sits and it just it looks like it's you know hauling butt uh, just sitting still um, really really aggressive looking little twin turbo prop but um, the Navy flew them and the Marines flew them so I'm gonna stick with my US Navy theme for most of my builds and this by the way is 148 scale just like the T-38 was so it'll stick with my U.S. Navy uh, aircraft build theme that I've got going on. But um, saw this, saw the price. And believe it or not, I didn't even give that for it. So I was like, I can't pass that up. So, and for a tester's kit, it looks like it'd uh, be a pretty good build. Now, something else. And this is... The Revell 148 scale A26 Invader. Um, the price on this, see down in the corner, it says $15. I didn't give that for it. Um, but I figure, wow, this is you know, such a, a, a nice model kit um, for that cheap. And, and I actually got it for cheaper than that. So um, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Uh, I believe that the Marines might have flown this uh, some during World War II. And uh, I'm going to try and find a Navy or Marine Corps related uh, decal sheet to go with it. 
but uh, it really looks like it's going to be a pretty cool kit. Let me see here. Uh, well, I ain't even opened it yet, so it's still sealed in the box. So we're going to leave it sealed, and uh, that way, whenever I get ready to, to build it, I can do a kit review on it as well. All right. In fact, I might do that with all of these. Just do a kit review when, when I get uh, ready to build them. Now, going along with my U.S. Navy aircraft theme 148 scale, this is an EA-6B Prowler. Uh, it's a monogram kit which tells you right there that it's a little bit on the older side. Um, this is before Ravel took over. And uh, I've seen pictures of these builds on the internet that some of you guys have done. Um, and just, it looks like it would build into a really nice airplane. Now, the one thing that I have been looking for, and I've got an A6E uh, intruder that I built, which is, kind of the same airplane except it's a single cockpit instead of a dual cockpit um, but this is an electronic version which means they used it for uh, electrical jamming uh, jamming radar signals um, electrical countermeasures they could listen to you know radio broadcast and stuff like that so counterintelligence but uh, that, that's why they call it the electric uh, intruder um, but anyway what I want to find is there's a set of intakes, uh, trunkless or seamless intakes that you can put on these and it really, really brings out the realism on, on this model. Um, like I said, I did that on my A6 model and I'm looking to get another set of those, but uh, this is something for the future. Um, another box uh, kit review when we get there. And, uh, well, I didn't talk about the price, did I? No, I did not. Uh, let's see. Now, I don't even see the price on it. Um, I remember that I told the guy that I would offer, and I believe I got it at the same time that I got the A26. And I offered him a, a group price for the two of them. And I mean, like I said, it was nowhere close to, to the 15 for the A26. I basically stole this. Um, I gotta be careful that I don't break it, jostling it around. But uh, yeah, I got it really cheap, so real pleased with that um, now some of you also know my background is I am an f-14 mechanic um, worked on the f-14s for 14 years out of my Navy career uh, 14 out of the 24 so very near and dear to my heart and when I saw this one this was actually the, uh, the Tomcat uh, I want to say it was either the seventh or the ninth Tomcat that was ever built and they used it as a test bed um, an engine test bed and they put different engines in it and uh, This is what they actually used as a technology demonstrator For the Supercom Tomcat and that had the GE F-110 engines in it. But anyway, I saw this and I'm like man That is really awesome Hasegawa kit. I mean just just a, a really great example of an aircraft Lots of goodies inside. I mean, Hasegawa always has, uh, in my opinion anyway, had some really nice model kits, uh, great decal sheet. But yeah, this thing is, it's sealed up on the inside. So everything's here. And they had a price on this one of uh, $25. Not what I paid. Um, paid less than $25 for it. But Tomcat F-14, Super Tomcat 148 scale. Uh, really can't wait to add that to my Tomcat selection, my stash. Y'all can look back in some of my videos. Um, in fact, I'll try and throw a couple of thumbnails up here. But I, I've got quite a few Tomcats already. Um, now the one thing that I don't have is I don't have an F-14A. Now this is the F-14A Bombcat, it's an Academy kit. Uh, the one thing I do like about this kit is that, looking at the pictures, it has the drop tanks already in the kit. Now most of the F-14 Tomcat kits that I've built in the past, I've had to order drop tanks because they weren't part of the kit. So that was one thing that really convinced me 
to buy this kit was it had the drop tanks it's got all the other ordnance uh, it's got the bombs and everything else and like I said I don't have an A uh, in my collection and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, make sure that I take care and fix that but um, sealed up in the box everything looks nice uh, got the instruction sheet with the decal sheet now there's a good chance that I'll use a, a different set of decals because I was a East Coast Tomcat sailor and uh, the decals in here are for I want to say these are West Coast yes these are West Coast decals um, nothing against that particular squadron but I'm believing that I want to build this one probably as like maybe a VF-143 puking dogs. Um, they just, I, I just always loved the way their uh, their paint jobs looked on their airplanes. And uh, so that's probably what I'm gonna end up doing on this one too. But F-14A Academy, 148 scale. So, and all of those except for the first two that I talked about were from the model train show in Conway, Arkansas. So. Um, one last goodie to show you, well actually it's a couple goodies, but um, so you remember I told you the silent auction that I won the truck? Well, um, Sean, he bid on some resin pieces that was uh, there as part of the silent auction as well. Um, he wanted, uh, I don't remember what it was in the pack that he wanted, but these racing seats were part of that resin pack and uh, I told him I said wow that would have been really cool for you know like the the model that I just finished building the uh, the Grand Prix the Dale Earnhardt Grand Prix um, so he said well here he says I ain't gonna use the seats you want them so he won the silent auction but I got the seats so and another thing that part of the silent auction and these are uh, 3D printed tires and wheels. Um, if you can see those pretty good. So, got the wheels, you got the tires. So he, he uh, also let me have these. Um, I didn't bid on these, he did. And uh, he just said, here, well, actually, is that wrong? Yeah, I think that nobody bid on these, if I believe correctly. And so the guys at the car show were saying, all right, who wants them? And uh, I think I just got these for free. So anyway, um, I didn't pay any money for them is, is uh, pretty much the bottom line. So can't really beat that. Uh, lots of goodies, lots of things to keep me busy in the future. So uh, hopefully you guys will stay tuned and uh, I'll put out videos as I can. Um, lots of different things going on right now. Uh, one of the biggest things is uh, trying to get the house built, um, which you guys should be seeing a video on that here real soon too. So uh, hopefully um, you guys will, uh, will see that, like I said, coming real soon. So that's all I got. Thank you for watching. Take care, God bless, and remember, pay attention to the details. We'll see you again real soon. Bye.